Hey Packer, what do you think of the new smoker? Pretty awesome, huh? Okay, we are about four and a half hours in and it, things are going great. Check out the difference inside. Look at that. This is seasoned very well. There's really nothing else I need to do at this point besides just let the rest of the charcoal burn down and burn away. Welcome to Tony Tone Barbecue. I am Tony and this video is going to be about seasoning your offset smoker. In this case, this is going to be the very first seasoning of a brand new offset smoker. I'm going to talk about how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to talk about how to maintain that. Here we go. I want to say a huge thank you to all my subscribers. At this point, I have over 5,000 subscribers. I really appreciate you very much. I get tons of questions on the daily basis of uh, different things regarding how to operate an offset smoker, barbecues, grills, all this stuff, and it's a lot of fun. I enjoy answering your questions. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you so much for liking my videos and continuing to leave comments and ask questions, and I always do my best to try to respond as quickly as possible. So thank you so much. All right, so what we're working with today, this is a Char Griller Grand Champ XD, brand new, just purchased this. You can uh, go to the chargriller.com website, I think that's what it is, uh, or just Google search Char Griller grills, offset smokers, you'll find them. I believe you can uh, purchase these at Home Depot. I picked this one up at Home Depot, uh, paid $549 for it. I also bought a cover for it. This is my first uh, day with it and I am seasoning it and I just want to say this is not a paid promo by Char Griller. Um, as a matter of fact I don't even like doing paid promos. I've been uh, offered opportunities to do promos. Um, I really don't want to do that. I kind of feel like a sellout if I start doing promos. So um, what I do like to do though is I like talking about tools that I find that work really, really great, that's a uh, good value that uh, you, you know, average people can get. Um, this one for, at $549, still in reach of a lot of, for a lot of folks. Um, I have another Char Griller, uh, Smoking Champ, that was 200 bucks when I bought it. Uh, it's now, I think, $300 at the Home Depot. And um, so, but this one, big, heavy, I'm really excited to get to use it, get to know it. I don't know how it's gonna perform, but I have a good feeling it's gonna do great. It's big, it's heavy. Um, so far, I'm loving it. So um, here we go, okay? Okay, this is what this offset smoker looks like right now before it's been cooked in, before it's been seasoned. It is uh, just, just assembled. You can see it's kind of a little, little sticky, a little tacky all over from the light coating of oil that was put on by the factory. Uh, to inside, it is totally clean. We've got this little charcoal basket here. I'm just gonna get that out of the way. And no anything there, just clean surfaces, bright and shiny. All that's gonna change pretty soon. we got this upper cooking grate. And we've got the main cooking grate here. all clean and shiny metal. We're gonna want all this to be seasoned, well coated, so that it is protected. What is seasoning? So seasoning is simply to create a protective layer on the surfaces of your offset smoker, your charcoal grill, whatever it is your, that your outdoor cooking appliance is. Why do we season? Well, number one reason is to protect it. Protection, protect from what? Mainly rust. So that's why we coat the inside and the outside, and this uh, protective layer will prevent rust from forming on exposed metal surfaces. They're not exposed anymore. The other reason why we do it is because when these things come from the factory, they come coated with a, with a layer of oil on there. And you wanna make sure you basically burn that stuff, bake that stuff into the onto the metal so that you don't have these weird flavors, this weird taste, the chemical taste uh, on your food when you do go to cook. That's it. Seasoning also helps prevent things from sticking to the different surfaces to your grill and whatnot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light up this chimney full of charcoal and I'm gonna use this charcoal to do the seasoning of this offset smoker. And you can see it's sitting here on my older offset smoker that I've had for many years. This is a char griller smoking champ. And you see the inside of this, it's nice black, no rust, in really good condition. Even the outside looks great, no rust. That's because it has been seasoned properly and I regularly re-season it with pretty much every cook. 
So how do you maintain the seasoning of your offset smoker or whatever? So uh, every now and then you can repeat this process. After you give it a little cleaning, uh, you can reapply oil and get it hot again and season it just like you're doing for the very first time. Uh, also, you can apply oil right before you do a cooking and, um, you know, light coating and let that bake on as you're doing your cook. Also, as you're cooking, oils and fats are going to be dripping off the meat that you're cooking and it's going to be getting onto your grates and you know, to the rest of the smoker and that is also going to build up on there and continue to season it as you cook. So typically I find that on um, on my rigs uh, I don't clean them aggressively. I just scrape off the loose stuff and let the oil from the end of my cook stay there until the next cook and then that way when I fire it up and do the preheat all that stuff bakes onto the surfaces and I'm continuing to re-season. I actually never really do this whole process over again where I completely coat everything and re-season it because there's really no need. Having said that, if you do occasionally do a really thorough scrubbing where you get in there with, I don't know, detergents or whatever and scrape everything clean to where it's really bone dry, then you're definitely going to want to re-season it and uh, make sure you coat everything and bake all that on there before you just leave it uh, to start to rust. Okay, while the charcoal is over there getting lit up, we're going to go ahead and start prepping this for the uh, seasoning process. And uh, all it's going to be is actually it's a really, really simple thing, okay? All you need to do is coat the inside of your offset smoker or your grill or whatever it is you're seasoning with vegetable oil, okay? I prefer using peanut oil because it has a really high smoke point, so when it bakes onto the surfaces, it creates a really, really durable coating. And um, I like to apply it with a spray bottle, like this one I picked up from the Home Depot. Um, I to make sure that it gets applied very easily I actually heat up the uh, peanut oil that I have in here I got about a um, cup and a half of peanut oil and I heated it up for about a minute and a half so it's it's pretty hot so it'll spray nice and easily of course you can brush it on you can wipe it on with a towel with paper towels whatever you want uh, but what you want to do is make sure you coat everything really nicely so that's why I like the spray bottle set that there take this grate out set that aside Get this one out from in here. I'm gonna take this baffle plate out of the way. What I'm doing here is just taking out everything beside that that that's loose in there, okay? Okay, now everything's out. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it with the vegetable oil. Don't be afraid to get a little messy. If some of the oil gets around the outside, uh, starts dripping down anywhere, that's okay. The more the better, okay? Later on, as the inside of this is baking all this oil onto it, we are gonna wipe down the outside of the smoker with the oil as well. Getting the inside of the lid, not worried about the overspray, just getting it everywhere, okay? We're gonna do the firebox too. Same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and open this door and take the grate out, set that aside, spray the inside of the firebox. Okay, once you've got everything sprayed down really nicely, go ahead and start putting pieces back in and spraying those down as well.
Okay, at this point, I'm not gonna put those grates in yet because I need to get the hot charcoal in here first. So when that charcoal is ready, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some of it, maybe a little less than half, in the main firebox over here, in the firebox. And the rest of it, I'm gonna put in the main cooking chamber. And I'm gonna kind of spread it evenly across here. And I'm gonna get that going there. Okay, the charcoal is now hot. We can go ahead and get this added to the smoker. And go ahead and dump most of it in here. And some over here. There we go. And I'm gonna arrange it so it's kind of nicely spread across the grill grate here. Same thing over here. My goal here is just to evenly distribute the heat. Okay, as you can see here, we've got the charcoal in. It's hot, I'm putting on a lot of heat over here too. What I'm gonna do is uh, just gonna go and make sure the smokestack is, is open here. And uh, gonna close this up. Close this one up too. Gonna make sure that the vent over here is wide open. And let's get that closed. There we go. And while this is heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and get those grates, the cooking grates, oiled, and I'm gonna get these in here right away too. You see the temperature is climbing pretty quickly there. Okay, coating the cooking grates might be a little bit more difficult. You might wanna use a sponge, you can use a spray bottle, um, but uh, I just laid them out on some plastic here, hosed them down with a spray bottle, and kind of wiped them around a little bit with a towel. Gonna to get those in here. Temperature is, just over 400 degrees, so this is working out great. Let's put the grates in. Okay, we've got the grates in. And those are gonna heat up and cook. And during this process, it's gonna take a couple hours uh, if you want. It's, it's actually a really good idea to do this. Uh, after about 20 minutes or so, take each one of these grates out, recoat it, put it back in. They're gonna be really hot, so you gotta use the tool to grab them with and some high heat barbecue gloves and then carefully apply the oil, but you want to make sure you get a really good coat of oil on these grates. Also, as you're using this in the future and cooking things on it, you're gonna be dripping a lot of uh, fat, rendered fat oil onto these grates from the food you're cooking. Also, maybe sauces and whatever else you're cooking with that stuff is gonna bake onto those grates and is going to naturally season them as you cook. So, you know, I'd be careful with the cleaning. Maybe uh, don't scrub them too much, don't clean them too thoroughly because coating all that stuff on there and cooking it on there is actually a really good thing for them. Okay, I'm gonna close this back up and let the process continue. Now for the outside. Okay, for the outside, you might wanna use an old pair of thick leather gloves or some high heat gloves or something for this part because uh, the outside of this thing is going to be a little hot. What you're going to do is take a towel, soak with some more of that vegetable oil. Uh, I like to use a terry cloth towel or these. This is those really heavy duty uh, shop paper towels. And as this thing is hot, all you're going to do is start wiping down the outside with the oil and just let that bake onto the surface. And it's going to give the exterior a really nice, pretty black appearance. Um, but at the same time, and more importantly, it's going to season the outside so it will too be protected from rusting out. It'll paint, protect the paint and keep this thing looking really good for you uh, for the long run, okay? Okay, during this process, if your temperature starts raging out of control like mine is, over full 500 degrees, that's uh, about 100 degrees hotter than I really want it to be. Very simple fix, okay? Just go ahead and close down your exhaust and close down your intake. 
and that charcoal that's burning away in there i'm going to close them way down to like 10 percent open both of them that charcoal that's in there is just going to calm down if you need to close it down even more just go ahead and do that and then when it gets closer to where you want it to be just kind of start opening it up a little bit until you start seeing the temperature uh, stabilize but by choking down that airflow like that the charcoal is going to start burning much cooler and your temperature is going to be right back where you want it and sure enough a few minutes later temperature is coming back down holding in uh, just above 450 right now but uh, still got it choked off and temperature is coming down to a safer zone all right so it's been about an hour and let's have a look at the progress and see where we are okay so inside here it's kind of hard to see with the sunlight but uh you can see that these grates are taken on a nice bronze tone here they're still looking a little bit oily there's still a lot of wet oil that needs to burn off and bake onto the surface there down below you might notice i've added more charcoal i did that very easily by using this tool here to lift this grate up and i slid it all the way back to where it catches right here on the end and then i just set it there and then i carefully added more directly to the existing coals before they burnt out using my tongs so i've got a nice bunch of coal in there that still has a long way to go for uh, close that back up there we go and notice here the lid also turning a nice golden bronze I can get a decent angle here there we go block the sunlight a little bit and that oil is baking very nicely on there and the rest of the surfaces let's have a look inside the firebox I added more charcoal inside the firebox as well also baking on nicely in here you see there's actually some pooled up oil down over there it's going to take a while for that to cook off but uh, we're getting some smoke coming out from from that as it uh, burns away it's going to take a while so we're going to just keep this going the outside might also be able to tell here that it's been completely wiped down i mean all the surface all sides even the legs everything i wiped down with oil i ended up using just a terry cloth uh, washcloth and just wiped everything down good and it all looks kind of shiny and wet right now but as the surface stays nice and hot it's going to slowly bake on there as well and have a much more even look a little bit later when it's all done and those grates once they dry up a little bit more i'll take them out recoat them put them back in so we are over two hours into the seasoning process things are going great i know some of you might be wondering why i'm using charcoal for the seasoning process instead of lump coal or wood which i could be using and uh, well the reason for that is because charcoal is really easy to manage the temperature with this is holding at 400 degrees it's been at over 400 degrees for the entire time like i said we're about two hours in things are going really great so all i really need is heat in this case let you have a look at the inside at two hours you can see everything is cooking on there really nicely and I'm happy with the way things are going here this has been super easy best advice I can give you when it comes to seasoning is don't rush it all right take your time this is gonna take a lot of time this is gonna be three four hours if it takes six hours it doesn't matter just let it cook on here and let it do the job it's gonna take a while for all this oil to really dry up and bond to the surfaces I coated the entire thing and you can start to see maybe from other shots that I've seen here um, that things are starting to dry up it's not as shiny and wet looking in some spots that's because the oil is uh, you know the chemicals have evaporated is leaving the hard deposits on the surfaces so it's doing a nice job and um, as far as the outside is concerned when I'm cooking I usually do like to apply a little more oil to it so it's always got this nice layer of oil building up on the surface it's going to protect it from rusting so take your time when it comes to seasoning and just let it do the job I took a peek inside the firebox here and it looks like the uh, pile of charcoal is starting to dwindle down a little bit I want and it's still looking a little wet in a lot of places so I'm gonna go ahead and add some more charcoal on top of this little bit of charcoal that's left here and uh, keep this going for a while longer okay as you can see here I got the grate pulled out and I did add some more charcoal down in the main cooking chamber here as well and I'm gonna that's gonna catch on fire by the rest of the charcoal keep this seasoning process going I thought this is kind of cool here you can see these grates here I've coated a couple times now with a little extra oil They're looking really 
really awesome. And I thought this was kind of neat here. The you notice here, this slides in and out a lot more easily than it did before because the of the coating that's being created on these rails here. And uh, it's just nice and smooth now. Make it a lot easier to get these in and out when you want to when you're cooking. So this is working out great. Let's go a while longer. So one of the nice things about not doing paid promos, not like uh, you know becoming an ambassador for Char Grill or anything like that, is that I'm not beholden to Char Griller products. You know, Char, Char Griller I think makes a lot of good stuff. There's some stuff they make that I think that maybe is not so good. I don't know. But uh, for example, this uh, charcoal chimney starter here is uh, Weber. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's the best one on the market. Char Griller also makes a charcoal chimney starter. It's good, um, but I think this one's better. So that's why I use this one. So there you go. By the way, if you don't know what a charcoal chimney starter is or how to use one, make sure you subscribe to my channel and check my videos. I do have videos in there specifically about uh, what it is and how to use it. Okay, we are about four and a half hours in and check out the difference inside. Look at that. All the grates are now looking nice and dark. A lot of the, there's not much wet oil left. Everything is uh, drying up on there really nicely. This is seasoned very well. There's really nothing else I need to do at this point besides just let the rest of the charcoal burn down and burn away. And there's a firebox, nice and dark, very well protected. And the outside's looking fantastic also. So that's the process. It's actually really, really simple, isn't it? Okay, yeah, apply oil all over, inside and out, starting with the inside, of course, and um, put the uh, charcoal in there. Keep that temperature up for a few hours until it uh, all gets nice and dark and everything's cooked on there nicely. So that's it, very simple process, no big deal. All right, um, just gonna let this burn down to, uh, to nothing now and cool off and tomorrow gonna be ready for its first smoke so i'm excited thank you so much for watching and i appreciate you and uh, make sure if you have any comments or questions put that in the uh, comment section check the description there might be some links to some stuff in there for you and uh, thank you so much smoke on have fun